Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we'll be exploring Active Directory container objects. So first, after you log into your server, you're going to click on the Start menu, go to Administrative Tools, and select Active Directory Users and Computers. Now on the left pane, you can go ahead and see our domain. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and right-click on it, go down to Properties, and in the General tab, you can see that the Domain Functional Level and the Forest Functional Level are both Windows Server 2008 R2. From here we'll select OK. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click on the built-in folder in the left pane and view its installed components. To do that, we'll go ahead and click on the plus sign to bring out the list and then select on built-in and we can see everything that is built in on the built-in side of the domain. After this, let's go ahead and click on the computers. As you'll note, there's nothing in here. Next, what we'll go ahead and do is we'll click on the domain controllers. Now, a computer object representing your domain controller is displayed in the right pane. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and click, right click on the domain controllers OU and click on properties. Now, for those of you that have worked with Active Directory users and computers in Windows Server 2003, you might notice that the Group Policy tab is missing. In Windows Server 2008, all Group Policy Management is done with the Group Policy Management MMC. So from now on, we're just going to go ahead and select Cancel. Also, we can select on Users, and you can see that there are two built-in accounts that are created, Administrator and Guest. And that is all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.